Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm going to do a makeup declutter video today. Yesterday, to be exact, I was actually sorting out my makeup collection and it came to my eyeshadow drawer and I'm not even joking, I cannot actually fit any more eyeshadow palettes in my eyeshadow drawer. So I have two drawers for eyeshadow palettes. I have my main drawer, which is behind me, which we're going to start on first. And then I have an eyeshadow palette drawer for like my smaller, like mini eyeshadow palettes. We're gonna go through that drawer as well because I'm sure there's palettes in there that I no longer use or need. And I'm sure there's probably palettes that are out of date as well. <laughs> this is the drawer that I keep my eyeshadow palettes in, such as like my larger eyeshadow palettes. But once I open it up, as you can see, it is completely full, literally to the throat. <laughs> I have some lined up here, they're stacked here and they're stacked here and there's some stacked right at the back as well. And then, yep, yeah, there's ones in here and then ones in the back of there and there's kind of like ones on their side as well because I just couldn't fit any more in. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through all of these now and see what I'm wanting to keep, what I'm wanting to like donate, bin, whatever. Because whenever I do get rid of some makeup, I do tend to prefer to give it away than bin it because it just kind of seems to be a bit of a waste. But obviously, if it's really far gone to the stage of it should be binned or it's out of date, I will bin it. But if it is usable, I will donate and give away to whoever I feel would want it. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to take all of these palettes out first. are all cleared out and obviously I'm going to clean out this drawer. I don't have like a dust or anything so I'm going to use a pair of socks um, because I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my larger palettes because I always keep my large palettes like in this area here such as like my Morphe sized palettes. So the first palette we have is the BH Cosmetics 28 Colour Palette and this is the Smoky Edition palette. If you are familiar with my channel you would know that I, I actually do use this palette quite often especially for the red shade down here in the corner. I've used it quite a few times and I've used obviously quite a few colours above this. Um, my wee sister did buy me this so I'm not going to get rid of that just yet because I use it for the red because I don't have any half decent slash good red eyeshadows and this one isn't that bad. So and as well because my sister bought me it I'm just going to keep that. This palette I'm probably going to bin this because this is so old. Back whenever I'd done Halloween tutorials, this palette came in really, really handy. That's mainly what I bought it for. I bought this on either Amazon or eBay. As you can see, I've kind of dug a few holes in it. It does and it did come in handy for Halloween tutorials and makeup. Um, so I didn't have to go into my, my higher end makeup and kind of waste those. Um, but because I don't do Halloween makeup anymore and I don't ever intend to start doing it, this is definitely needing to be bent. <laughs> so next up we have the Morphe 350M palette. Um, I have used this once and it was my black smoky eye trail. I will probably keep it because um, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> My Jaclyn Hill palette. It's an obvious palette that I'm definitely going to keep. It should definitely be a statement in everybody's makeup collection. Um, I just absolutely love this palette because of just obviously like the colour story in it. You have absolutely everything you need. This is the ideal palette to travel with. So obviously I'm going to be keeping that one. Next up we have the Juvia's Place palette and this is the Magic palette. It is absolutely stunning and I personally do think that this palette is actually quite unique in terms of the shades and stuff. Um, like the shimmer shades in this palette are just absolutely beautiful and they're so highly pigmented and they're just really really good quality um, and especially the matte shades they're absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this palette. I haven't dug into it too much to be honest. They're absolutely beautiful, so I'm definitely going to be 
keeping that. Next up we have my Coronate Bible palette. I'm obviously going to keep this because I do find that special edition palettes or limited edition palettes are kind of like collector's items. Um, <laughs> I'm not too sure if you can get this palette anymore but I do really like this palette and this is the Dulux edition so this was actually the second version of the palette that she came out with. So I'm obviously going to keep that one. This is the Carnival palette by P Perfect Cosmetics. Don't even need to speak too much about this palette but I'm just going to say obviously I'm going to keep that palette. So this is actually a new palette I got not that long ago, haven't used it before yet obviously. So this is the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Gani Beauty palette. I absolutely love the packaging of this palette, it is absolutely beautiful. I haven't even swatched any shades I don't think actually. No I think I've swatched that one. Oh and I've swatched that one as well. Obviously I'm going to keep that one. So next up we have this big palette by Beauty Bay. They're amazing, they're really really good palettes but storage wise they are a pain in the royal ass. But next palette I have is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. I actually bought this whenever I was over in London at IMATS a couple of years ago. Hello you! Um, <laughs> so yeah I'm not gonna get rid of it just yet. I do not reach for it that often but I don't know I just I'm, I'm just not gonna get rid of it okay? Leave me alone! Next up is the Masquerade Mini palette by Jivius Place. Again not gonna get rid of it. <laughs> oh this is an absolute fail. Um, we have the Deck of Scarlet palette but this is kind of like a Z palette so this has a pile of like singles in it. I'm obviously not going to get rid of this because I love this palette and I love the shades in this but just in case I ever decide to get like Colourpop shadows or a makeup geek or something I can put them in here and I also have another Z palette that I could also use so yeah I'm not going to get rid of them or any of the shadows because the shadows are actually quite good so I'm actually just going to tuck this palette just in there at the back. Then we have the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and this is the Fleeman Love Palette but I'm just not going to get rid of them because the shades are unbelievable. Like they are incredible. They're absolutely beautiful shades. This is also from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and this is the Meadow Palette. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get rid of that there. So I'm going to start on all my deck of Scarlet palettes. I have Edition 7, Edition 9, Edition 10 and Edition 12. But this is Edition 12. This one was definitely not my favourite at all. Um, I really really did not like this palette so therefore I'm actually going to get rid of it. The next one is the Edition 7. Um, I actually quite like that palette. It's a very wearable palette. Um, you can also use these as eyeshadows, by the way. So I think I'm just going to keep that and I'll probably play with it at some stage. Um, edition 9. This is the edition of from Belle Jordan. So obviously I'm going to definitely keep this one. Um, oh, and I quite like this one as well. This one is going to be perfect coming up to the summer, especially with these two shades. So I'm definitely going to keep them. Um, next up we have two palettes from Misha Lou Cosmetics. Um, I'll just give a few swatches. My fingers are absolutely disgusting because I've been swatching other shades. Of oh my god! Um, I'm not too sure if you'd be able to see them or not, but they're honestly stunning. Then we have the Fawn palette, which is more of like a wearable palette. So I'll just swatch a few. Oh, honestly, these shadows are absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, it's just a wee Morphe palette. I'm going to definitely keep this because this is actually a palette I travel with. This is the Glamify Allure eyeshadow palette. And yeah, let me just do something here for a wee second. Can we all see something right now? But this is Morphe and this is Glamify. Like seriously, how funny is that? So I'm going to get rid of the Glamify palette. Then we have the other Glamify palette and this is the Vivid Eyeshadow palette. So if you watched my video where I done a full face of makeup that I don't like, you would say that I included this palette. So obviously for that reason, I'm going to also get rid of it. Next up is the Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. Worst name ever. 
as you can see, I have went kind of balls deep into this palette because I do love these shades. I probably have other shades that are similar or the same in my collection, but I don't know. I just seem to always hook out this palette for some reason for those shades, so therefore I'm still going to keep this palette. But next up we have the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 palette. To be honest, I rarely reach for this palette, um, so I might just keep it to the side because I'm not too sure whether I want to get rid of it or not. I would get rid of it because, as I say, I never reach for it, but my mum bought me it for Christmas last year. Whenever people buy me things, I don't like to get rid of them. I just kind of find it a bit disrespectful. Just going to go through these ones first. So the first thing we have is the PS Chocolate Contour and Eyeshadow Palette. I've only dug into this palette for that shade and that one um but yeah i'm probably just going to get rid of that because i probably will never reach for it again next up we have a palette that i bought off either wish or ebay to do one of those wish tutorials so it has a bunch of matte shades and then as you can see it has a load of shimmer shades like these are just like pressed glitters and do you know what they're actually not that bad i know i probably shouldn't be sticking my fat sausage fingers in here whenever i'm thinking of donating it but i just want to show you like how nice the palette actually is like oh my god you know what i'm actually going to give that away because i'm just probably not going to ever use it that we have another eyeshadow palette that was in my makeup i hate <laughs> type video and this is the Fauclair wonder palette um i'm going to donate this because it's fucking shit Next up we have a W7 Beat It palette. Um, haven't used this yet but I'm going to keep this palette for like a drugstore affordable makeup tutorial. I have another palette from PR and this is from Ulrude Cosmetics. This is the... Uh, yeah. That one. <laughs> Don't reach for it that often but I'm just not committed to get rid of it just yet. Next up we have the Morphe slash Kathleen Lights palette. This is whenever she collabed with Morphe. Honestly, 100% I am not getting rid of this palette. I absolutely love, love, love this palette. The reason I don't use it and reach for it that often is because you cannot get this palette any longer. It honestly really, really bugs me the fact that Kathleen Lights didn't get enough attention over this palette. It should have blown up so much. It is an awesome palette. This green is absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, this is a Makeup Revolution palette and this is Fortune favors the brave i actually remember buying this palette whenever this palette first came out and it was on their instagram i nearly shit my pants i really really wanted this palette and if i'm being honest i haven't even swatched it, it even comes with wee brush oh i might steal that yeah, I'm going to steal that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to give that away. Next up, we have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Master Palette by LMD. 100% not getting rid of that. We have another Makeup Revolution palette, and this is the Flawless 3 Resurrection palette. This is whenever they stole the idea of Anastasia Beverly Hills, like they always do. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. So next up we have another Z palette and this is just one I made up myself. Um, let me see. Yeah, so these are the Pro Artist Single Shadows and then I think there's a few of them that are Makeup Geek as well. Obviously, I'm going to keep this. Next up we have the Lorac Pro palette and I'm not going to get rid of it because I cannot part with it for some reason. I do not know. I sometimes now and again reach for it for whatever reason or another, I really do not know. But yeah, I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. So I'm just going to hide it just in there. So this is the Return of the Sexy palette. <sighs> no idea. So this is basically an all shimmers palette. It absolutely breaks my heart that I'm going to get rid of this, but it has to happen. I do not reach for it. It literally just takes up space in my makeup storage. And next up we have the Nick Cherry palette. That's brand new. You haven't used it yet. I'm not going to bin that. We have the Kylie Cosmetics Take Me On Vacation palette. Like it's not that pigmented, but it's grand. So I'm not going to get rid of that today. We have the Technique Pro Finish palette. So uh, this was actually sent to me in PR and I think I'm going to keep this because I did use this a few times and it didn't actually work out for me. So do you know what? I'm going to keep it and I'm going to have another go with it. But next up we have the Pretty Little Thing eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going to keep this eyeshadow palette because I could probably use this for like an affordable 
makeup tutorial or something. This brand I still cannot pronounce, Mimi, Mimi. This is the minimal eyeshadow palette. I'm definitely going to keep this palette because it's lovely. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a definitely a really, really nice eyeshadow palette. So next up we have the Belle Jordan palette. Yeah, definitely not getting rid of that just yet. But we have the Pixie by Petra um, Festive Eyes palette. Never reach for this. Never, ever, ever do I reach for this. But yeah, I definitely think I'm actually going to get rid of this wee palette. So we have the EYN Brights palette. Um, got this sent to me in PR. I'm obviously going to keep this because the shades in it are really, really nice. And for it being Beauty Bay, the quality is really, really decent. So I really knew... No. <laughs> so I really do need to dive into this palette a wee bit more. This shade here in the middle, the yellow one, is absolutely stunning. Like if you're doing like a mustard yellow smoky eye and then you take this shade in the inner corner. Oh my god. The NYX Fire palette. Never reach for this but I'm going to keep it anyway. We have the Jordan Lipscomb palette. I'm obviously going to keep that. Now to finish off this drawer, we just have the Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. And then we have all of my Anastasia palettes. I really need to get more of them actually, like the Sultry palette and the Norvina one. But we have the Soft Glam palette. Definitely not one of my favourite palettes by Anastasia. Don't actually know why I wasted the money on getting this, but I would say if you are a makeup artist, you would absolutely love this palette, especially for bridal work, but considering the shades, they're absolutely beautiful. But for someone like myself, it's just a very basic palette. A modern Renaissance palette, obviously. Who the hell does not have this in their makeup collection? Um, I'm obviously going to keep that one. And we have the Subculture. I'm obviously going to keep this palette because it is my all-time favourite palette. To the point where I have a backup. The Anastasia Prism palette. Again, a very underrated palette for some reason. This palette is absolutely glorious. It is absolutely stunning. Um, ooh, oh, I really need to use that neon shade. Neon is so in at the minute. I really need to do something with that. And definitely this. Oh, these two together. Oh my fuck. But I'm just going to set that in there and hope this closes. God damn it. No, that's not going to work. God forbid I close that and then I can't get that open again. Oh my god, I would cry. So I'm just going to put that in there just like that. Yeah, it was the bolt. Okay guys, so next up we have this drawer here and this is part of my Alex drawers. Um, so in this drawer here is where I keep my smaller eyeshadow palettes. We have loads and loads of palettes at the back that I never, never reach for, so that's why they're at the back. Oh my god, we have a chest hair. I swear to god, does anybody else have a boyfriend that has like body hair, chest hair, whatever you call it, and he sheds everywhere, like I'm not even joking. Get out of there! So we have these three wee palettes and these are from Makeup Academy. So we have a matte one, we have a shimmer one and we have also a shimmer one. So I'm actually going to keep them because I actually think they might come in handy sometime if I, again, if I want to do like a affordable makeup tutorial or something. I do have makeup that I use on an everyday basis that I don't use whenever I'm filming. Um, I just keep it for myself because you either can't get it anymore or whatever it may be. So then we have the w 7 palette. They're actually really, really cute, although they kind of look like the MAC ones, don't they? And just like the MEA ones, I'm going to keep these wee palettes. So, yeah. Up we have this big, gigantic palette by Becca. And probably the most pointless eyeshadow palette I have in my collection. Um, like the size of this palette and it has like, what, seven shades in it? <laughs> and they're all shimmers. So you are very, very limited to the looks you can do with this palette and what you can use it for, vice versa, whatever. Um, but still, again, it's a very pretty palette. I did save up to buy it, this palette. So again, I'm going to... Where am I going to put this? So yeah, I'm going to keep it. Then we have two Tarte palettes. It's Rainforest of the Sea of Volume 3. And then this one is Rainforest of the Sea of Volume 2. They are pretty nice palettes, but I don't actually think I'm 
ready to get rid of these just yet even though I don't reach for them that often slash not at all <laughs> then we have the Desi and Katie a dose of colors palette again I'm still going to keep that one the color pop palette I'm definitely going to keep that one. Oh, oh, excuse me excuse me ma'am the NYX Ultimates palette I'm obviously going to keep that palette because um <laughs> I use it all the time. <laughs> we have the MAC and Mariah Carey eyeshadow palette. Um, never used it before, but again, I'm going to keep it because it is a collector's item. I would say there's probably a lot of people decluttering Kat Von D makeup, but yeah, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so this is the Alchemist Holographic palette. So this is just like a highlight and face palette, but I actually use it for eyeshadows. They are really, really nice and I do reach for this palette quite often. So for that reason, I'm still going to keep the palette. And then we have the Shade and Light palette. This is the wee mini palette. So this is the Rust one. I've actually never used that. But I'm going to keep it anyway because um, it's me and I'm an idiot. So next we have an e.l.f. contour palette. What the hell? Why is that in here? Oh my god, an e.l.f. contour palette. That looks really nice. We have two Technique Mega Matte eyeshadow palettes. And why are they both opened and used? Why did I do that? Do you know what? I'm gonna get rid of both of them then. So this is actually by G Y A oh G W A Girls with Attitude. <laughs> How cheesy is that? <laughs> and this is a I'm guessing highlighting palette or something. Um them shades are definitely not my shades at all. I think I'll donate that or give that away or something. Then we have another palette by Girls with Attitude. <laughs> And this is their Natural 12 Eyeshadow Palette. Um, yeah, I haven't used that before. I might just keep that anyway, just for shits and giggles. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is ancient, but this is honestly the very first MAC product I ever owned. Um, I remember years and years ago when like, Mummy actually sent me, like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I want something from MAC. Um... And this is what she bought me. It came in like a sweet collection. This is a bronzer, lip shades and eyeshadows. So yeah, I'm not going to get rid of it because I just want to keep it for sentimental value. <laughs> um, next up we have the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow. Do you know what? I'm definitely going to keep this. I actually got sent this in PR whenever I done a video for Shop Miss A. And they have sent me this. And do you know what? It was absolutely fantastic. So I'm actually going to keep this. Next up we have a sleek... I Divine Ultra Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so that's just what it looks like there. Never reached for it, gonna get rid of it. Then we have the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette. I used this actually not that long ago in a tutorial. I think it was yesterday's tutorial actually. Was it? Can't actually remember. Um, so I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's actually really, really good. The Technique Bronzing Eyeshadows, um, which is broken clearly. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I think my mum actually might use that, so I'll probably just give that to her. Next up we have these wee eyeshadows, and they're actually face palettes as well. So these are both by Technic, and this is the Heartbreaker one, and this is the Showstop one. So we just have eyeshadows, blush, highlight, bronze, eyeshadows, blush, highlight, bronze. Haven't actually tried them yet. They did send these to me in PR. I am on their PR list. Um, so I'm actually going to try those out at some stage. Then we have two wee mini Estee Lauder palettes. Honestly, look at the size of those wee pans. And then we have kind of like a green purplish one. This one's really, really pretty. I really, really like that one. So I'm actually going to keep it. <laughs> but then we have the Sleek Makeup, the All Rockstars collection. What the hell? I'll probably get rid of this if I don't even know what it is. Oh, I do know what this is. So this is just basically like a palette of shimmers. Um, oh damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. So we have an MUA Lux Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. Never ever use this. I'm gonna get rid of that. Then we have an e.l.f. Trio Eyeshadow Palette and I'm definitely gonna keep this. I absolutely love e.l.f. We have something else from MUA Lux and this is their 5 Silk Eyeshadow Shades Palette. 
What the hell? Ew! Oh. That looks like hourglass, but it's not hourglass, so I'm going to get rid of that. I might give that to my mum. We have these wee palettes here. I don't know. Shall I keep them or should I get rid of them? Keep one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to keep one. I'll get rid of that one. I'll get rid of this one because it has more of like, more like pink shades and tones in it, which I never ever use, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I also forgot that I have these eyeshadow palettes here. This is where I sit and film, so this is like behind me, so you can't really see it. Eh, uh, look at all my eyelashes. Um, so I have the Too Faced Just Peachy palette, I have the Shanix Soul palette, and I have a Pretty Little Thing highlighting palette. Um, I'm not going to get rid of those because obviously I have them there for decoration purposes. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually quite happy with this. I know this might not be a lot of palettes to other people or whatever. I'm going to clean them all up, give them a wipe down so I can actually give them away. I have two people in mind that I'm going to give some of these away to so I'll let one or the other look through them first and then I'll probably give a few wee ones to my mum because I kind of know what she wears and what she won't wear. So yeah guys, I'm actually quite happy with that. If you enjoyed this video, that's great, that's fab. Um, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter, they will all be linked and listed down below. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.